Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to see how to use the unactivate event to highlight the active form in your Microsoft Access database. Today's question comes from Harper in Seattle, Washington, one of my Platinum members. Harper says, is there any way to highlight the current form that has focus? Our database uses a bunch of different forms, and sometimes it's hard to keep track of which one you're on. I know how to use the conditional formatting to highlight the field you're on, but it would be nice if the whole form turned yellow too. I tried using the on got focus event for the form, but that doesn't seem to do anything. Yes, you're right, Harper. The on got focus event for the form doesn't work most of the time. I actually have a separate video on this coming up soon where I'll explain why it doesn't work and how you can get it to work and what it's for. But today, let me show you how to do what you want to do using the unactivate event. Now, this will, of course, be a developer level video, which means you're going to need to know some VBA. It's not hard, though. We literally can do this with four lines of code. I tried it earlier and yeah, four lines and you're done. Um, well, four lines in each form because you have to do this for each form you want to have highlighted. But if you've never done any VBA programming before, go watch this video. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started. Go watch this first. Then go watch this video on variables. We have to store the form's opening color in a variable, right? Otherwise, we'll lose it. So we got to store that in a variable. Go watch this first. And we're going to use a form level variable. That's a variable that has, that has scope on the form that it's on. So other forms can't see it or use it, right? It's unique to that form. So go watch this one. Those are all free videos. They're on my YouTube channel. They're on my website. You'll find links to them down below in the description under the video. Go click on them, watch them, come on back, and then I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want to, but any database will work. All right, so every form they open has a detail section, and in that detail section, it has a color property under format, right? There's background color. Where are you? Back color right there. All right. Now, if it's got a, uh, a theme level color, like this one here has a theme level color. I don't like theme colors. I usually pick one of these standard colors down here. But that standard color is basically stored internally as a number. All right. And we're going to grab that number and store it in a variable as soon as the form opens so we don't lose it because we have to be able to switch back to it. Okay. So for the form, click on the forms properties right here, go to events and use the on load event or on open. Either one works for this. Okay. And that's going to open up your VBA editor where it is right there. All right. Now, before we can set that, we're going to come up here up top and we're going to make a form level variable. We're going to say dim start color as a long. Okay, we've got a long integer. It's going to hold the color. We're going to call it start to color. Now, when the form loads up, we got to set that value. Right, so start color equals, how do I get the color of the form? Well, it's technically the detail section of the form. So it's me dot detail dot back color. That's what we want. And yes, if you also want to do the sections like the header, the, the, the form header, the form footer, those are different, right? You can do uh, me, let me do it here. Me dot section AC header dot back color like that all right and there's also ac footer that's for the form header and footer there's lots of different things you can refer to but for this video we're just going to stick with the detail section all right so what have we done so far well we dimmed a variable called start color and when the form opened up we set that value equal to whatever the current background color of the form is now when this form gets activated all right using the on activate event so again click here on the form properties Go to events, find unactivate. Where are you? Scroll down. I think I just passed it. Uh, right there. There's unactivate and undeactivate. This happens when you go to a form and when you leave a form, you get deactivate. Now, this will happen either when the form is opened or if you click on the form. Like right now, main menu is not activated. If I click on it, it just got activated, right? And now we'll come back over here. This one gets activated. Well, not when it's in design view, but when you're in form view, it does. Okay, so now go into the on activate event. And here we're going to say me.detail.backcolor equals whatever color you want. 
You can use one of the constants, like uh, uh, VB red, or I like VB yellow. Okay, or you can use the RGB function if you want to. I got a whole separate video on that. I'll put a link to it down below if you want to specify the exact color. All right, this video teaches you all about the RGB for, uh, function, and you also will learn about the hex colors, like the things you see on the web, these guys, right? But again, for now, I'm just going to turn it yellow. I'm going to stick with the default yellow, okay? Now, we also need the deactivate event when we leave this form. So drop this box down, find deactivate right there, okay? And here we're gonna go and say me.detail.backcolor equals, what do we start with? The start color, okay? All right, save it, close it. Let's close you down and let's open it back up again. And look, it went to yellow. See that? Because the form got activated when you opened it. If I click on the one behind it, look at that. It just got deactivated and it went back to its original starting color, see? Okay, let's do that to the main menu too. Right click, design view, and just repeat all those steps I just gave you. All right, in the on load event or the on open event, well, first let's come up top, let's declare our variable, right? Dim start color as along. In the on load event, don't worry about the do startup, that's for me. Okay, start color equals me.detail.back color. Okay. Then in the form activate event, where are you? Activate. Once you learn these, it's easier to find stuff over here. Okay, me.detail.backcolor equals VB yellow. And then in the form deactivate event, me.detail.backcolor equals start color. All right, save it. Give it a quick debug compile, close it. Close it, oh, see how that got activated again. Close it, and one more time, open her up. And I got I got code that moves my form over, okay. We're opened up, we're gonna go over the customer form, and notice how it got the focus like that, and now it's yellow, see that? And if I come back over here, see? Look at that, isn't that neat? And now you have no, no way to miss what form currently has the focus. And you just have to do this in every form that you want to light up. Could you do a global function? Yeah, but you're still gonna have to put that code in each form, right? You're gonna have to put a, an activate, a load, and a deactivate event. So you might as well just put the four lines of code in each form that you want. Um, if you put them in, like I have these for my template, right? Continuous and single. Put those in your, your form templates so when you create a new blank form based on copying one of these guys, it'll copy over all that code. That's why, it's another reason why I have these. It's got all my settings and stuff that I like for my single forms and my continuous forms. And then I just base new forms off of these guys. So put that code in there and you won't have a problem. Otherwise, take a Sunday, go through all your forms, put all that stuff in there, and there you go. If you wanna learn more about this kind of stuff, if you enjoy it, I cover uh, the on activate, form open events, all kinds of different events, and event timing, especially, in my Access Advanced Level 1 class. Yes, it's based on macros, but there's lots of good stuff in here that I cover before VBA that will teach you all kinds of things like how the events fire, what order they go in, that kind of stuff. And in my Access Developer Level 41 class, I cover a lot more cool stuff with these types of events, including we do a form zoom, where you could take a form like this and zoom in and out. So if you make this form bigger, if you click and drag it, it'll actually make all the controls and stuff on this form larger. So you got a, a tiny one for fitting on your phone and you can click and drag it and it'll fit on your giant monitor. And if you got people like me that have really bad vision, it's easier to see. It'll make the font sizes larger and stuff too. That's covered in Developer 41. And I mentioned this class because I do cover a lot of stuff with the on activate event as well in this. So Harper, there you go. I hope that answers your question. That's gonna be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find.
But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward, <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members, Get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page.
that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.